Welcome back to the channel, Soul Tribe. It's me, Tony, your resident tarot specialist and spiritual guide. I'm going to be getting into the love messages, see what's currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you, and possibly what you need to know in regards to the matters of the heart. Comment to the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow, add value to the channel. Now that that's out of the way, how you guys been? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's been over 24 hours since my last post. I've been dealing with a lot mentally, physically, spiritually. Man, it even shocks me sometimes. So if it shocks you guys, imagine how it shocks me. <laughs> I'm going to be using a wiser tarot deck today to pull your uh, messages. So sit back and relax and enjoy a therapeutic session. We're going to go ahead and um, see what your current love energetics um See who's wanting to communicate with you or contact you romantically. Not all the messages may resonate, right? Whether you're single or in a relationship, take what messages resonate for you. Let's get into it. All that rambling stuff at the, at the beginning of the reading, right? All right. But the messages have been good lately. Also, my health has been good lately as well. Six of Wands and the Empress, as soon as I break the deck. So very positive, very victorious energy coming towards you at this time. Mm -hmm. Could also be the person that's coming towards you. They could be very empress-like or very proud. They could be some sort of a winner. Let's get it. Nice right, messages of love and light, please. And thank you, spirit team. What does the collective need to know in regards to love and romance? Time is about 5.55. Oh, look at that. Ten of Cups is your jumper. So we're starting off positive already, right? That is wish fulfillment and happiness, right? Sharing your elation with your friends, your family, a group of people. You could be very popular at this time with a person that's coming towards you is very family-oriented or very popular. I also do Cups, right? Cups are our intuition. So if someone's intuition is on fleek, it's on 10. They can be very empathic or intuitive. Nonetheless, a whole lot of happiness is what I'm seeing, right? This could be a time of gathering or happiness, togetherness. Just one more shuffle and we're going to take a love message. Grounding the reading is Wheel of Fortune 1010, a portal. <laughs> portal to happiness, a portal to wish fulfillment, maybe even financial abundance, but the universe is granting you a reprieve. Mm -hmm. Fate, karma, and destiny. Basically, you're going to be getting back whatever you put in, all right? So hopefully you've been um, manifesting positivity. We are in harvest season. It's October 1st, right? Bone thugs and harmony. Wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. <laughs> yeah, whatever you've been building, consistency, the pinnacles drop. You get to begin to see the harvest. The person that's coming towards you could be a very hard worker or they work with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Let's get more into the nitty gritty. Page of Pentacles, a student. Mm -hmm. Small offer, tokens of appreciation. Budding entrepreneur. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone wants to work with you here. Could be a very collaborative effort, right? This is a love reading, so someone wants to work with you romantically, or um, this person may come in as like a business partner, or this, yeah, this could be a coworker. Um, and then it progresses into a romantic relationship or vice versa. It's going to be a romantic relationship that also is entangled into your work. You may meet this person at work. You may go to somebody's job. For instance, for an example, you may meet somebody while they're at work. Last card of the first row, the moon card. Emotions, right? Illusions, smoke screens, maternal energy, Pisces and Cancer energy. So yeah, someone's wanting to invest in their emotions or share their emotions with you at this time. Very good. A lot of positive energy to start with the Page of Pentacles at the middle of the spread as well. This could be a young person or, again, someone very youthful or amateur. Getting selfies. Maybe this person wants to take a selfie with you. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> right? Having tangible proof, right? Pictures and that sort of thing. Yeah, this could be, okay, so this could be like a social media influencer. All right, using social media as like a, uh, I, I use social media to pay off my house, right, basically. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we see who's here, let's get more of the energies. 
a queen of swords, someone with a lot of discernment, someone with strong opinions. Possibly they keep them to themselves, right? This could be like a counselor or a teacher. Uh, queen of swords is uh, Libra, right? Someone in a justice system. Could even be a surgeon. An author, director, again, some sort of a vlogger or a blogger. Again, look at me. <laughs> Maybe this person is like interviews people on the street or something like that. That could be this person's um, business or you got to sorry because I've been asleep. <laughs> I literally just woke up late less than an hour ago and I've been uh, the side effects of these drugs. And this is why I never like taking pills. Like I hate. I've hated taking pills since I was a little boy. But ever since I had my surgery, I had to get used to it, right? Waking up in the morning and taking a bag of Skittles. <laughs> so yeah, in my 20s, I was like, you know, forget this. I stopped taking it. <laughs> the Five of Swords, miscommunication. Mm -hmm. Self-sabotage in some situations. This could be confusion, arguing and debating. Maybe a person has a career in arguing and debating. Perhaps they're a lawyer, or again, their their, their opinion is valued. The chariot card shows up. A lot of Cancerian energy. The moon is already out. So the can Cancerian card uh, chariot clarifies the page of Pentacles. You know, chariot is about willpower, strength, movement, taking action, victories, and that sort of thing. Cancer also represents maternal energy, right? This person can be very empathic and intuitive. I don't know, maybe it's like a traveling nurse or a traveling intuitive. Let's get more of the energies. Death, Scorpio, Major Arcana, Media. Transformation, ending out cycles. Their death clarifies the three of pentacles. Hmm. Maybe the ending of a career. Yeah, someone could have ended a career or a job to become an entrepreneur. Or to go into some sort of a transformational period. So this is the person that's coming towards you. They're very bold. Uh, they're very. Um, they have a lot of confidence in themselves as well. It could be hidden confidence. They could be a very quiet person, but you could see the confidence and the stoic nature on their face. Possibly is what I'm getting. Definitely strong water sign placements, with the Moon, Chariot, and Death. That's Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Five of Cups, yeah, very emotional individual. Five of Cups is grief and loss, right? regret emotionally or some sort of a change emotionally. I'm trying to figure out if this person knows how to deal with their emotions. Or again, this could be someone that helps people deal with their emotions, like again, a counselor, a therapist, a psychologist, a psychiatrist. Indeed, these are the type of people that have gone through such things, so they will be experts at bringing people through things, right? Like a spiritual guide, get, um, uh, guide people through a spiritual awakening or something like that. Like me, I'm a guide and I bring you guys through certain, um, especially when you guys request personal readings, right? Every reading is tailor-made and I haven't missed once. Everyone loves their readings. The Seven of Wands clarifies the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, this person is very defensive, very protective of their family, their friends. Yeah, this is like a superhero, basically. <laughs> My friends, yeah. I remember being a bully killer in school. Well, I didn't really kill them. I just, I didn't like bullies bullying people. Similar to like my sister. My sister's a Gemini. <laughs> she don't like people messing with other people. Little big sister. Yep, the hermit card. The critical thinker. Someone very, um very knowledgeable in regards to spiritual matters. Possibly health as well is very important to them. Yeah, this person is some sort of a spiritual guide. Very detail oriented. It may be an isolationist. Mm -hmm. Self-love, yeah, so they're explaining self-love to someone, right? Again, don't jump in and out of relationships. Stop monkey branching. You don't, it's not the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else. No, whoever told you, gave, gave you that advice. It's trying to give you, they're trying to, they're trying to give you the path to STDs, basically. No, so this guide here is, yeah, Five of Swords is trying to, is trying to tell someone. It could even be like a 12-step program here. 
you know, I look at the eight of pentacles uh, as consistency, hard work, and being thorough, continually putting out um, the effort. Yeah, and we know Virgos are perfectionists. Yep, that's funny. Eight of pentacles and the, <laughs> the hermit. The problem is with the five of swords here is people will say there's no such thing as perfection. Like, who created the word perfection, though? But you just should always strive to attain it, right? That's like when you uh, finally complete, complete a goal, what do you do next? You always have to have a bigger and higher purpose. So, yeah, this person could be like someone that helps people find their purpose or whatever the case may be, or they walk them, walk them through something. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting like that Bone Thugs and Harmony song. Um, you know, the famous one, Meet You at the Crossroads. Yeah, because yeah, I'm about to hear it clarify Chariot and Death. Chariot, the Page of Pentacles, is being clarified by justice. Yeah, righting wrongs, bringing the truth to a situation. Karma, justice. Yeah, this person that's coming towards you could be an air sign, or they're very, um, they're a very honest individual. Again, they like networking. This pot, this person may even be into marriage with you as well. They could be bringing you this, this small offer, Page of Pentacles, a, a engagement or a promise ring. It's like they have strong intentions to uh, couple with you, basically, or to support you. Now let's clarify this death in the Three of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands, in and out energy, right? rites of passage, taking action, hot pursuit. Uh, clarifying the death card in the Three of Pentacles? Hmm. Maybe someone wants to work on, uh, work with you on some sort of art project, possibly, or something that they're very passionate about. Again, this could be a renewal or like a change or a pivot. There's some sort of an idea, maybe a money-making endeavor or some sort of a, a romantic or sexual uh, relationship. Sex ed, possibly. Yeah, OnlyFans, Patreon as well. So it could definitely have, uh, could be using those platforms to collaborate or teach people or whatever the case may be. Yeah, it's almost as if I was to put out like a, a course on uh, how to read tarot on Patreon or OnlyFans, basically. Right? You don't always have to think of OnlyFans as being like some sort of a prawn website. Let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Cups on top of the moon, and we get the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's a woman. I mean, it could also be a, a feminine man as well. But we have the matriarch, the mother, the wife. Yeah, being... Uh, I was gonna say burdening herself, right? Yeah. I was getting some uh, weird channel message earlier uh, during the day, um, but I could definitely understand, um, you know, it's encumbered upon men, you know. I salute all the men out there that work 80 plus hours a week that's trying to support their family, or even the women or the mothers out there that feel like they never have time for themselves, but they always have time for everyone else. It's very commendable. So the universe is bringing you justice. Mm -hmm. You're getting your just dues, your rewards, right? I'm getting I'm getting Eminem. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. Yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah, someone's cleaning out their closet. <laughs> Nine of Wands, the Death Card, the Three of Pentacles. Yes. Make room, make space for new uh, relationships. We often miss people, right? Especially, again, going back to our parents. We only have one mother and father, right? Regardless of their relationship um, that we have with them, right? Whether good or bad, you're gonna regret it after um, they leave, right? Even sometimes when you grow up and you move out of your parents' house, sometimes you miss your parents. I'm not sure who this message is for. Let's get back into the love and romance. We're gonna extend this message. Let's go to the fourth row. Feels like there's a need to do so. So. Yeah, right after the king, like I said, and I was gonna end the reading. We have right after the queen of, of the yeah the queen of pentacles. We have the king of pentacles. Your person is showing up, so you guys are showing up as uh, counterparts in the earth suit. Very stable, very abundant, very supportive. Definitely could be a marriage here with justice showing up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then wanting to collaborate with you three of pentacles again. Yeah, you guys are not only gonna be in a relationship, but you guys are gonna work with each other and start some sort of a business together. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of someone, uh, I have someone in mind, but I, don't, I can't remember her name. It's like an older Caucasian woman who's like into science, religion, and all that type of stuff. And she uh, she invites people onto her retreat 
for them to learn like health uh, and stuff like that. I'll probably try to remember the name. Maybe I'll drop some information onto the community tab later about that type of stuff. Um, the Hermit here, Five of Swords and Eight of Pentacles, this consistency here. Maybe someone's working on starting a new language, deciphering language, hieroglyphics or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Taking pictures of what they find. Yeah, someone's a re someone's a researcher here. Could be like an archaeologist as well. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, clarify this energy. Get a star card, a celebrity. So we have the star and the moon out. The star in there is representative of Aquarius energy, like genius activity, the increased spirit, and also the healer. You only got one job, Aquarius. <laughs> Bringing the water, healing people. Yeah, so this person may be the center of attention or the or a, uh, in a spotlight or something like that. Again, they may be an influencer. Justice and uh, Chariot, the Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Cups. Yeah, multiple options. So the person that's coming towards you, they have several gifts, talents, abilities, possibly several offers coming toward them. Definitely an abundance of resources. They're very supportive here. Mm -hmm. And this is the energy they want to bring to you. The Tower card, the Scorpio Major Arcana, a shocking moment or an aha moment, a realization or a download. Again, destruction. Um, it comes out in the same row as the Death card, which is interesting, right? With the Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Someone really wants to collaborate with you, this person. It could be love at first sight or attraction at first sight. We have the World card completion and then opening up new cycles we also have travel here the chariot has also already shown up in the middle of the spread and as reading earlier but yeah this person may be a traveler the world card also indicates the world wide web coming out right after tower which is the goddess of illusion media right the way we see things the internet basically so you may have met this person online or while traveling Online business is what I'm getting as well for some of you guys. Yeah. You hear fine. I was gonna say entrepreneurship, yeah. A lot of people are should go into entrepreneurship, but Taurus energy here. A lot of Venusian energy here. Yeah, with the King and Queen of Pentacles, there's a lot of abundant resources. So you guys are gonna be able to live a comfortable life, but this person is gonna bring a comfortable life to you. Again, marriage as well, as they hear fine is a religious figure, like a preacher or a pastor that marries people. Right, it could be a really um, again. It could be dealing with a teacher or a student. The Queen of Pentacles can be a uh, a teacher. The King of Pentacles could be like a professor, college professor. Mm -hmm. The Star card, the Hermit. <laughs> yeah, this person. It's like being fame, fortune, and celebrities being thrust upon someone. Right? When you always hear me talk about imposter syndrome. <laughs> yep, the Six of Pentacles come out right after the Hierophant. So people support you. Well, this person supports you. Equal give and take. Yeah, abundant in resources. The two of pentacles, juggling, balancing work and home life. Mm -hmm. This person finds you, or this person that's coming towards you could be very dark, very mysterious, possibly occultic or esoteric. You know, they, it seems like they're a traditionalist, but I mean, what is tra what is tradition nowadays, basically? Maybe this person is creating a new tradition or some sort of a new culture, right? A cult, right? Don't freak out because <laughs> look at a church. That's a cult, right? <laughs> Not all churches. Look at one church. That is one group of family or one group of in individuals that all think the same, right? So again, it's word interpretation, spell work, the way we look at things, perception and perspective, right? The Four of Pentacles, stoic energy, very grounded and stable. Mm. I'm getting a lot of solid investments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone's st someone shown strength through adversity. Mm -hmm. With this tower and this death card. Someone is also maintaining relationships through hard times and, and, you know, harsh communication. The last card of the reading here, the Knight of Pentacles. Yep. First card of the reading is the Ten of Cups. The last card is the 
Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, this person's uh, they're at, they could be at a distance from you definitely. For some of you guys, it's gonna resonate as and they're bringing in this slow moving offer. Came out as the Page of Pentacles. Now it's the Knight of Pentacles, and you guys both came out as the King and Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, all the High Court cards came out for the Pentacles too. Again, very down to earth, very stable, very abundant in resources here. Yeah, it reminds me of my father. I was telling you guys a couple readings ago how my father um, moved to Alabama after his retirement, purchased a couple acres of land, built his house, and now he takes in uh, foster students, basically, or foster children. Yeah. Let's see the hidden energy at the bottom of the reading here, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, definitely an abundance of resources, right? So whether it's money, yeah, there's a whole lot of it. Raining the finances, raining the pentacles. In the love reading here, which we, what we're doing is, is also my red, my wedding ring card. And again, someone's bringing you an offer. This person is, uh, they see you as part of their uh, destiny, basically. Yeah, they're coming towards you. Swift action and movement, sending you, um, I'm getting gifts. This person may want to send you a gift. Yeah, I did that for my father one of the last times I spoke to him. I sent him some Palo Santo. Yeah. Yeah, this person is definitely attracted to you as well, sexually, right? That comes with it, right? <laughs> you have to be attracted to someone um, mentally, physically, emotionally. Seven of yeah, that's a strategy. This person's coming towards you under the cover of night activity. This is a very wise individual, very calculated individual. That's how they became the king or the queen of pentacles. Yeah, this person may take a lot of notes, whatever the case may be, taking on a student energy with Page of Pentacles. That's a brand new noise. I don't even know what that is. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, very independent and stable individual, right? Bringing in the harvest. This person may have children, the lovers, and the empress, yeah, calling in your soulmate. Yep. Gemini energy, right? Communicating, yeah, communication is key. Yeah, so this person sees you as a soulmate. Again, they see you as marriage material. They see you as a mother or a father. They see you as a good business partner. Mm -hmm. They see a solid investment. If they were to invest in you, they think they will get a, a, an ROI, right? Empress energy, of course. Anything that's grown or supported by an empress is going to manifest in abundance, right? Again, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Where is justice? Why are my eyes playing tricks on me? Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly a twin flame or a divine counterpart. This person sees you as a deep soulmate connection. Mm -hmm. Now let's get to the uh, major arcana here. Is that a lot of intuition here yeah definitely a, a psychic connection that you have with this individual right again you know your person the, the more it's basically learning your person over years right by year two of being in a relationship you should know what your person likes to eat right you should know what size they like on their sub right <laughs> they shouldn't have to complain to you about why did you put pickles on my burger right mm -hmm. Let's see, a lot of major arcana. Whoa, Jesus. 11 major arcana, yeah, which is my doorway to a, uh, into abundance, right? Spiritual awakening and enlightenment, which is being granted. So earth sign energy, a boss and an assistant, yep. Yeah. Taurus and, uh, sorry, the hermit and the hierophant. And don't forget the Empress is here, is here as well. But yeah, a boss and an assistant. Very powerful duo. And for air sign energy, we have the star Aquarius, Justice, Libra, and Gemini. And the lovers, you know, I love to see that. That means you guys are communicating the way that you guys need to communicate in a relationship, right? I get very cerebral. Mm, water sign energy, there's a whole lot of it. The chariot, Cancer, Tower, Scorpio, Death, Scorpio, Pisces, the moon. 
a lot of intuition here, a lot of sympathy and empathy. Again, your person may work with a lot of people, but they may be like a father to many or a mother to many. Again, they're a healer, perhaps, with the star card, even being over nurturing or overbearing as the queen uh, or king of pentacles, right? Being the father, again, of many. Yeah, and that's what happens when you become an influencer. That means people trust you enough to value your opinion, value your insight, to watch your content, support you. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. They're both Sagittarius to me, but not traditionally. Right? But this is being able to control your destiny, right? But yeah, the person that wants to come towards you wants to open up several cycles with you. They closed out a bunch of, yeah, letting go of old stuff, the tower and death to open up a whole bunch of new brand new cycles with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the reading that I put out yesterday, um, how your energy was forcing someone to be more confident, to do more things, right? Not necessarily forcing, but they were they were inspired to just do more, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like when a man sees his child for the first time and then he evolves into an actual father. Let's see, high court cards. All of the high court cards for the uh, pentacles came out. <laughs> so, the page of pentacles, again, a student, this person that's coming towards you, they could be a student or an avid supporter of yours. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, yep, they feel themselves equally yoked with you. They definitely want to invest in the connection with you here. So if you have a business, they want to invest in that business or provide you with creative ideas. The King and Queen of Pentacles, right? The Pentacles at the top, right? The highest that you can go. <laughs> yeah, the person wants to go, high, go um, so, what is it, soar to high places with you or something like that? Yeah. The Queen of Swords, yeah, a partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bonnie and Clyde is what I'm getting, yeah. <laughs> They're very supportive of the ideas that you have or the actions that they want to take, right? Again, they have a strong opinion about you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Numerology-wise, as we look at the Minor Arcana, let's see... No twos here. Any threes? The three. Oh yeah, we do have a two. So we we'll go from the two to the three to the four of Pentacles. Yeah. So progression here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find that this relationship it, it's coming along um, quite well, basically the way that it's meant to come out, right? In due time, divine timing with the uh, wheel of fortune. Right. The universe is going to help speed up or slow down this relationship regardless. Yeah, I'm getting Bobby Valentino slow down. <laughs> yeah. And your person likes you a lot. Damn. Two, three, four. Was there a five here? There is a five of cups. A change up in the emotions. And then we have the six of pentacles. Okay. What else do we have here? But yeah, them wanting to uh, reciprocate energies with you, right? Meet you halfway. We have sevens, or we have two fives, actually. Yeah. A change up in the emotions. I'm getting, I never knew there was a love like this before. So again, yeah, this could be like a cross-cultural or interracial relationship. Maybe from different uh, economical, uh, financial backgrounds, or whatever the case may be. Mm hmm. With the sevens, yeah, divine timing, seven, seven, seven. There's definitely clairvoyant gifts here. Very protective and defensive. Some of you guys may feel about your relationships, right? You don't have to post your person online and all this type of stuff, right? <laughs> Mm, go from the sevens to the eights, two of them. Yeah, very, very hardworking. This person is very active. They put in a lot of effort, especially towards the things that they value, in which you would be one of those things that they value, a soulmate or twin flame connection with you. They won't put a roof over your head. Going back to what I said earlier about the men, right? 
putting in the overtime for their families and for the again for the women um you know going all out for uh, their families and the people that they love eight nine harvest right again you raise your children right they're going to come back and they're going to support you in the end right the circle of life <laughs> as it goes right a man dies a baby's born yeah i keep getting that benjamin button right? go from the nine to the ten wish fulfillment and happiness yeah again um being very happy in the long run this person wants to build that sort of a life with you all right let's get your breakup message Two of Cups, a soulmate. Then we already saw the lovers show up in the ring, right? That's my indication of a twin flame. Although we did see the King and Queen of Pentacles already, which represents uh, divine counterpart energy. But yeah, Two of Cups, someone equally yoked with you, basically again, possibly has the same outlook on life as you. Go from the Two to the Three of Cups. Yep, they wanna celebrate, gather with you, right? They're ready for this union or a reunion. We have a four. This person could be resting at this time or rejuvenating. They're possibly very meditative or reflective. Yeah, someone's reflecting on um, maybe past memories for some of you guys. This could be like actual literal past life energies as well. This person feels very comfortable around you. Yeah, the six of wands, victorious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the support of a man that a woman feels or the support of a woman that a man feels. Yeah. And Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yep. Comfort of a family. A warm meal. Being financially stable and uh, comfortable. All right. I'm not going to shuffle too much. We did get... Well, there's the chariot. <laughs> Let's get your break deck message. The Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person is willing to put in a lot of effort to grow, build something with you. This could even be a creative effort. Maybe you guys are putting some sort of an arts and craft project together or something like that. Maybe you guys are teaching 3232. Maybe you guys are teaching each other social media or whatever the case means, but is what I'm getting for some. Yeah, there could be an age difference here as well. But the chariot, they're wanting to rush in and support you here. Um, getting to a, a, what is this, a victory lap? Yeah, <laughs> this is your person. You guys are running a relay race together, basically. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And wanting to pass the baton, or this could be like the shift from elders to the youth, right? The star card, the indigo children, right? What connects us? Time. Even information, right? It will do young people well to sit around old people and absorb knowledge, right? That's the whole point of life. That's the thing about dying, right? Dying at 30 years old is like all that experience is just gone to waste. Life is cut short, right? So when someone does make it to 80, 90 years old, it means they made up, they had a whole life of positive decisions, not fuck ups, right? Because you don't make it to that far <laughs> messing up all the time, right? So yeah, and it would be even encumbered upon uh, older people to take heed of what younger people are saying, right? In order to stay relevant. I'm thinking about the presidency, like why are all our presidents old <laughs> when the future of the nation is in the youth? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> So I'm calling for one more break deck message. But yeah, very positive uh, love reading. Um, overall, what I'm getting is someone very supportive. Uh, someone is willing to back you. Uh, this could be a business partner. If you are going into business with your lover, right? Marriage is a business. If it's not, then why are people are so concerned with finances and alimony and child support and all this stuff when it ends, right? <laughs> Break that message, the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah. Very creative individual, very spiritual. Yeah, this could be a very spiritual connection. A lot of attraction as well. Let's take a look at what fell out here. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Breaking of generational curses and cycles. The Three of Swords, yeah. Whatever those generational curses and cycles were. Cheating, abuse, not giving enough attention, right? 
men and um, uh, fathers and mothers not being able to raise their children the way they need to because they have to go out and work, basically. But the truth is coming here. Honesty. Mm -hmm. They see justice in the reading again. You could be dealing with an air sign. This person wants to communicate with you. Downloads, aha moments, a breath of fresh air, that sort of a thing. Yep. Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. Waiting out something. Yeah, you have to have patience as well. This could be a very patient individual. They may invest into things like stocks or crypto. Temperance. Yeah, patience. Yeah. This person has a lot of patience. They don't lack patience. Love, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be patient with love. You have to be patient with the youth if you're a teacher watching this, right? Even um, if you're younger, like a nurse or a doctor or something like that, king and queen of pentacles, you have to be uh, patient with uh, your patience, really. <laughs> patient with your patience, right? Older people, whatever the case is. But that is what I have for you guys today in regards to love, romance, and the matters of heart. You definitely have uh, a divine connection coming towards you, someone that um, they value you, right? Mm. There's not a whole lot. I can't really drag it too much, but uh, yeah, very positive. So like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the other readings on the channel as well. Right, We want to continue to grow. We're slowly creeping up to our 4,000 subscriber marks. But I'll catch you guys on the, on the next one. I'm going to be uploading later. Peace.